The Sage Backpack ERP Extended Enterprise Suite now includes the AR Inquiry module. AR Inquiry was previously available for purchase as an optional module. In this tutorial, we're going to give you a tour of its features, so let's jump right in and take a look. We'll start by selecting AR Inquiry from the menu tree and notice that we have Customer, Document, and Customer List Inquiries available. Let's start with the Customer Inquiry. The Customer Inquiry accumulates information from many areas within Sage Backpack ERP and presents it on the various tabs you see here. So let's take a quick look at some of the information available to us. To select a customer, you can directly enter the customer number, use the finder, or the navigation arrows. We'll enter 1200 for our favorite demonstration customer, Mr. Ronald Black. We're looking at Mr. Black's Profile tab which consolidates information that is normally presented on several different screens and accounts receivable. And on the Aging and Activity Summary tab, you can readily see the customer's aging and statistics. The Credit Check tab allows you to easily identify credit risks with a customer. Also, you can add and review comments here that can assist with your collections or other issues involving this customer. We can also look at all of the customer's transactions and notice that this screen also has panels that display the payment schedule and payment slash adjustments. As you select a transaction, these lower panels will update for the selected line. Also, drill down is available from any shaded fields within this module and in this case, double clicking a credit note opens up the Ops Inquiry credit note screen for this transaction. The Ops Inquiry module is also included with Sage Backpack, but we won't go further with Ops Inquiry since it'll be the subject of its own tutorial. On the Receipts tab, we can see a detailed list and as we select a receipt, the transaction details and invoice details are displayed in the lower panels. We also have an OE Invoices tab if you're running order entry. Importantly, we can drill down to Ops Inquiry to see all of the invoice and order information, including the header, items, and shipments. The AR History, OE Invoice History, and OE Credit Note History tabs require that you're running the optional Unis Sales Analysis module, so we'll skip these tabs for now. We've also got several order related tabs, and these all allow drill down into their respective inquiry screens. So, for example, on the OE Shipments tab, you can drill to the Shipment Inquiry screen to view comprehensive details. The Monthly Statistics tab gives a thorough view of the customer's activities and statistics. There's a lot of information here, so you'll need to scroll across to see it all. You can also view the customer's item purchase history, and you're presented with both a summary and a detailed view. As you can see, you're able to drill down to item, invoice, and order details from these screens. Notice the print button at the top of the screen. This allows you to print any grid-based screen, and clicking the print button opens a print dialog that allows you to customize your output. Now one last feature related to the customer inquiry. You can enable the customer inquiry to automatically jump to a customer's information when a customer number is entered in order entry or accounts receivable. Let's take a look at this by opening order entry and we'll layer the AR customer inquiry screen underneath. Now we'll enter customer number 1100 and when we tab away from the field, you can see that the customer inquiry screen automatically displays customer 1100's information. If you don't enable this automation, then you would use the inquiry icon that you'll find next to any customer number field in order entry and accounts receivable. Now we'll close the customer inquiry and let's suppose that instead of looking for information about a particular customer, we're instead looking for a specific document. This is where you would use the AR document inquiry. So let's assume that we're looking for an invoice and using the finder, we know the number ends with 52. And we'll hit select. We may not have known who the customer was beforehand, but the resulting inquiry presents us with detailed information. Importantly, we can see the AR batch information along with all of the relevant details of this invoice. 
Now let's close the document inquiry and take a look at the customer list function. The customer list function allows you to create a list of customers based on their credit status. So for example, if we want to see all customers who are over their credit limit, we would go to the credit limit selection criteria and select over limit, and in this case we'll leave all of the other defaults, and hit apply. And here are the over limit customers. There's a lot of information here, so you'll need to scroll across to see it all. Of course, you can make your selection criteria much more specific than our example, but this gives you a quick view of the capabilities. So to recap, the AR Inquiry module included in your Sage Pack system consolidates a vast amount of customer information from various areas within Sage Pack and makes it readily available to your staff. Give us a call if you need assistance with this or any other feature in your Sage Pack system. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.